Okay, yeah, but uh, they flew home uh, on their own. Uh, we did that every every morning, early in the morning, about seven o'clock. It was at six thirty. We had to take it. We had to herd them. And you were only, you said, between five and ten years old. Oh no! At that time, I was already. My dad was already dead. Well, let's think about your time in Zoidsleben before your dad died. Well, at that time, I did not. Oma didn't work, so I, I didn't get to go to Zoidsleben in, in the summer. Well, what about visiting your dad's family? The only on holidays. Okay. Where like Where was that? That was in Gainheim, in Wojtelheim, Wojtelheim and Gainheim. And he had a, a sister that lived in Hummelburg. He visited her too. Okay. Uh, that's the three villages. Okay. And Nudistan. Uh, yeah, that's where my grandfather and uh, his wife lived, my grandmother. But my grandmother died in Hummelburg. So, I remember going up to my grandfather's place, he had a, a, a well, they call it a wanget at the top, which was a uh, hill, and they had a lot of cherry trees up there. We used to harvest the cherries, I remember that. And it was steep because, you know, it was hanging on a, on a, on a sliding hill. We went on, on a, uh, you had to get used to let it go on one side, but on the other side it goes straight down. So I was always afraid I, I might fall off the damn thing <laughs> and roll down the hill. And I had a lot of cherry trees on that, on that hill. Real good ones, too. Okay. He also had gooseberries. I remember that. I didn't like the gooseberries. They were actually they were good when they really ripe. I never liked to eat the shell. I sucked them out and threw, threw it away. <laughs> I had a tough shell. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Boy, that's a long time ago. Yeah, my, my grandfather, from my father's side, he died. I was here already in America when he died. I don't know exactly what year. But I saw him before I left Germany. I said, I said goodbye. And this was the one who was the fisherman. The one you painted. No, he was a Schneider. Uh, a tailor. A tailor, yeah. But you said that he looked like the picture that you painted. Yes, he did. He wore a feather in his cap. But that wasn't him. I know. I, I, that was a photograph I liked. I said, I said, he looks just like my grandfather. I remember what he looked like. That's why I bought. That's why it's, I bought the, the card. It was a postcard. And then I painted it. Do you remember any other family members from your father's side? Yeah. Like My who? My cousins from Würzburg. It was, um, that was his brother. I think he was a little older than my father. He looked exactly like my father. His name was Thomas. And he had two daughters. Uh, Marka was a half a year older than I. And uh, Inge, Ingeborg. She was maybe eight, two years younger than I. She was sort of the baby. Okay. I saw them quite often in Woodsburg. When we went to Zoltzleib and sometimes we went to, that wasn't too far to go to Woodsburg on weekends. So I saw them quite often. Marika Okay, then uh, I had my, they, they were boys, I didn't associate with them too much, there was three of them, they lived, now they both, so one, I met the one, they came to visit us, he's a, we should have gone visited him while we were down there, in, uh, you know when we were close to Woodsburg, what was that place, uh, we went on that, who did we go with? You were with, you. that was after I left. Oh, he well, did go with us. Mm -mm. Okay. That was the girls from, uh, Willie's girls, right? 
Bombay, right. He lives there. I di but I didn't have his address, so I didn't know. You should look him up next time in the phone book. I know. I should have. But his, his name was not Foos because it was my sister, Nerd. Nerd was his last name, Nerd. N-O with the tats on top. T-H, Nerd. I guess I could have. Okay, so, well, I never thought about it. I never thought about him. That was Bombay, you know. That was thyroid, baby, or thyroid, or... Next time we go to Germany, I want to go with you to Berlin. Oh, yeah, I never did make it to Berlin, you're right. Never. And so, do you remember during, like, before you were 10, so that was like before 1938. Do you remember like what bud kissing him was like or or what was the atmosphere in Germany during those years? Bud kissing him was a health resort and we had all kinds of rich people all over the world to go there for treatments. Uh, they had those healing waters that were good for for your stomach and for your intestines. Rakotsi. And we had the max water. And one was for heart and rheumatism. And then we had the sole, which was salt water. We took a bath in that. So it was a health resort. And we had lots of hotels and lots of places for entertainment, you know, bars and stuff like that. And uh, we had beautiful parks, needless to say. We still did. We kept that up. And uh, because it was a healthy thing. And I remember as a kid, we always played in Rosengarten. You know, that was what she complained about. <laughs> yeah, we used to play. And then we had the Kriegel Blatz. They made the barking place out of it. That was a beautiful place for the kids to play. Had a big fountain in, in the middle, and uh, you know we used to play. And then later on, they knocked all the trees off. There was trees all around it. It was nice and shady. And they knocked all the trees out and put a parking place in there. I think they needed it at the time. You know, they didn't have any parking spaces. Well, in the old days, nobody had a car. Only the very rich could afford it. Okay, so. And I had a synagogue across the street. They had a nice park. Oh, that was a beautiful church. Oh my gosh, it was gorgeous. Real architectural wise. Beautiful stained windows. It was a gorgeous place. What do you remember about the people of Bud Kissingen? Just the one in my street. Yeah. yeah. You know, I gotta tell you, they all died young. They had cancer. I don't know. Maybe that salt war, that war, all these. I don't know. The people across the street, she died from cancer. Uh, somebody in my in my uh, in my apartment, she died of cancer. You know, down the street. God, so many people died of cancer when I was still a kid. Well, don't forget about the life of the In those days, they didn't have the medicine what they have nowadays. If you got sick, they didn't do nothing. It just, it just rotted away. I know my one of my girlfriends, Ma, was it her mother? Yeah. She... Oh my gosh, she was so in pain. She asked her daughter, would you kill me? Would you please kill me? Get, a, get me with a little just kill me. The pain is so terrible. I die, uh, oh God, I said in German, verrückt, right? Die lassen mich verrecken, verrecken, like a, like no help. Oh, that must have been terrible. The pain, no, no, uh, Painkillers, no matter. Maybe aspirin, that was the only thing they had in those days. Uh, 
What do you remember about the political scene? Well, about Hitler. You know what he did? He did a lot of good for the poor people. He did. He had for the children. When's the first time you heard about him? Oh God, I think I was a little kid over. I remember that I got. They sent me. That was my dad was still alive. No, that was after he died. That was in 1938. They sent me up a whole which means. We went down to uh, uh, Austria, and they had, you know, like people, t they take you in for four weeks. Like they have those uh, exchange uh, where students come over. Mm -hmm. They're always looking for people to house them. Mm -hmm. Well, they had, Hitler had that. And all the, 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 the children had no father. I mean, they were, you know, they called them Weisenkinder. They didn't have no father. They were allowed every year, for, after school was out, for four weeks. I went to three places and enjoyed every bit For of three it. years? For three years in a row. Then the war started. Okay, that was the end of that. So wait, so what happened? So the day, what, you got something in the mail? No, no, not in the mail. They came they, right in, uh, okay, I belonged, when I was 10 years old, I joined the BDM, right? Mitch you joined the what? Bund of German girls, which is like uh, here, the Girl Scouts. I belonged to them. And when you were ten? When I was ten years. When old, your dad you died. Be, you had to be ten years. Yeah, you had to be ten to join. And I joined. Well, they didn't ask much of me. You know, I joined them. Why did you want to join? Because they did a lot of nice things. Did uh, you have to pay money? No, no, everything was. We used to have Christmas parties. We used to uh, um, make toys for the underprivileged children. Oh, I used to love to do that. We knit knittings. We had everything what the Girl Scouts are doing now. That's what we did then. There was no politics involved. So, until later when we had to march, okay. When I had uh, holidays, we marched. And we went on, uh, oh God, we didn't have to fundraising either. We didn't have so to wait a minute, I want to hear about this thing where they sent you to Austria. Yeah, they sent me to Austria. So how'd they find you? Through the, since Girl I was, Stouts. Yeah, through Girl Stouts. Yeah. So what happened? They and said they to you? I had no father. My father died. And my mother had to support herself and me. But she and so what'd they pay. say? She got a little rent. You know, paid enough for the apartment, and she had to work. And so they came to you guys, huh? and what they came to you? No, we just got a notice that the, that I was selected to go on that trip. There was a whole bunch of girls, and then we uh, we drove out. They took us to the bus to the railroad station, and we, we went all the way to Austria. Yeah. Where'd you go in Austria? Rats. I don't know what they call it now. And the people picked us up at the station, whoever wanted us. They already applied for it. Who'd you stay with? Oh, I had some nice people. Oh my gosh, they were nice. And they showed me all through the town and everything. And, uh, and oh my gosh, they were really nice people. Did they speak a funny German? Yes. But you know, they have that dialect. You understood it? Oh, yeah. Okay, there was one year. Then the second year, I went to Cologne. I had nice people there, too. No, and then I went uh, three years, okay. Then the next time, I went Kaiserslautern. I was on the other side of the Rhine. River. And we always had nice people. And what did you do for the summer? That's what. That, that was the summer vacation. They, took, they showed us all kinds of stuff. You know how it is, you get company. You went to a castle? Yeah, and uh, got her all over the place. Went swimming, you know. Uh, that one in, in, so in uh, Cologne, actually it was Solingen. They had a beautiful garden. And in fact, I, I might have some pictures yet. Where I was feeding, they had, uh, they raised pigeons. And I was up in, in the pigeon coop feeding the 
feeding this the, the pictures. <laughs> then I helped them, you know, in the garden, pulling out weeds. Did they have kids? No, my older people, they were already retired. All of them? No, not all of them. The other ones had, had a business. They even had a car. Oh, that was something else. Had a car. And we went on outings. And they showed me really everything in six weeks. They even bought me some clothes. I mean, they were really nice people. I obviously they had money. Okay, so. Uh, <sighs> You're getting the stuff in your eyes. Wipe, wipe off your eyes. The suntan lotion, damn it. Wipe your eyes with your towel. Oh. Wipe all around your eyes. Above and below. Okay. Then went back to school in the fall then. We, we only had about four weeks vacation. Why don't you tell me what you remember about school? We didn't talk about school at all. Your first school. You went to kindergarten, right? Oh, yeah. it was the, the, the sisters, <laughs> the holy sisters. Oh God, they were they went off. That was kindergarten. Yeah, I think it was kindergarten. They didn't have kindergarten in those days, but they had sent you to the to the holy sisters. Oh, the Catholic, right? Like a. Don't they make you behave? You had to take a nap. Ooh, I hated that. I didn't want to take a nap. That was you know peaceful. Ugh. They beat you up if you didn't listen. Not like here. You're not allowed to touch them, right? Whack! Okay. <laughs> so you listen. You lay down even if you didn't want to sleep. It just made like you were asleep. And they come around to check. Okay. And then we had to feed. They fed us. They had lousy food. Ugh. Stuff I didn't want to eat. They made us eat it. Ooh. I, I hate to do that. Okay, but you know, Oma had to work, and uh, well, you have to go with the system. I think it cost a little bit. I had to bring money. It was like 25 cents uh, an afternoon. Okay, I remember that. Get she gave me money. Got to give me the system. Okay. I think it's maybe the little food that had to. Okay, so uh, no goodies either. Once in a while I had some food, but not too really often. Mainly soup. Okay, then that was when I was preschool. And then first grade, you know, in Germany you had to go, you had to go from 8 to 12, then you had to go home and for two hours and come back in the afternoon, two more hours, from 2 to 4. Except when the steep. That's when we had our BDM meetings. But wasn't Oma working from 12 to 2? So you were by yourself at home? Yeah, I was alone. Even when you were that young? Yeah. Well, I was already over 10. No, but I thought you said in preschool oh, or no, Oma, elementary school. Oma was working, but my dad was still alive. Too. Oh, okay. I think he didn't give her enough money. He only gave her 20 marks a week. She wanted some extra money. Okay. She did only part-time work. She worked in the afternoon. Okay. So, okay, what else? Oh. Why don't you talk about your friends? Well, that was Helga and, and Mariana. We, we were a threesome. <laughs> we went swimming every day when we could. When the weather was permitting. Who taught you how to swim? Oma. She liked to go swimming too. That was before my dad died. I, she used to swim with me on her back. I know I was always embarrassed when we got dressed because she was so fat. And the kids always, hey, did you see that fat lady? And, you know, I was behind the lines and heard it. And I made like she didn't belong to me. <laughs> you know how kids are. Oh, boy. So Oma says, ah, let them talk. Who cares? I'm not going to, uh -huh. she let, she, she got undressed naked. There she was standing. She didn't care. Let them look. Okay. 
and I try to get my towel and put it like this, you know. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> oh man, when I think back. All right, let's get in the pool. Okay.